Now we're being asked to add these two rational expressions. Negative 3 over 10v plus, uh, I'm sorry, negative 3 over 10v w cubed plus 5 over 8v squared w. Still, the concept is the same. The strategy is no different from anything that else that we've been doing as far as adding, um, adding, or subtract, adding or subtracting fractions or rational expressions. The goal is to find a an LCD, right? We need to find the least common denominator, and the approach is identical. So here are two, our two uh, denominators. We just simply have more variables in it. So we have a 10v w cubed. That's one of our denominators. And we also have an 8v squared w. So I'm going to break each of these down into their prime factors. Let's work with the numbers first. So 10, prime factorization is 2 times 5, right? 2 times 5 gives me 10. And I have a V and a W cubed, right? So I have three W's, W times W times W. Now for my 8V squared W, 8 can be factored into 2 times 2 times 2. So that gives me 8. I don't have any 5's. I have a V squared and I have a W. Okay, so now let's go through and take a look at all of our factors. We have 2's. The most 2's we have are uh, 3 of them, right? 3 times uh, W times, I'm sorry, 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times. Then we have a 5. This one doesn't have a 5, so the most 5's we have are, is, uh, is 1 5. We also have v squared, so we have a v times a v, and we have a w cubed, so we're taking the highest exponents. So our least common denominator is all of these multiplied. So we have 8 times 5, 8 times 5 times v squared times w cubed, which is 40 v squared w cubed. Okay, so now that we've found our least common denominator, just like we've done before, we're going to write, rewrite each of our expressions in terms of that common denominator. So if I take negative 3 over 10v w cubed, and some, I want to get that to be 40v squared w cubed, I need to multiply my denominator by what? Let me go ahead and write that negative 3 there. So to get 10 to 40, I needed to multiply it by 4. To get v into v squared, I get v. And then I already have a w cubed. So I'm OK. I don't have to do anything with those w's. This means I have to multiply the numerator by the same thing. So I have negative 12v up here. OK, so let's take a look at our second expression. We have 5, 8v squared times w. And again, I want, to re I want that to be expressed in with a denominator of 40v squared w cubed. So what do I need to multiply this by? Well, 8 into 40 goes 5 times, so I multiply that by 5. I'm already set with my v squared, and over here I only have 1w, and I need to have 3, so I need to multiply by w squared. So that means I need to also multiply my numerator by 5w squared. That gives me 25w squared on top. Okay, so now I can rewrite both of these in terms of my common denominator. So I have negative 12. So if you don't see that, so I have this one is going to be written as this expression, and uh, this one is going to be written as that. Okay, so I have negative 12v over 40v squared w cubed, and I'm going to add 25w squared over 40v squared w cubed. Now that I have a common denominator, I can rewrite them 
with that one denominator, 40v squared w cubed, and I have in the numerator negative 12v plus 25w squared. And I'm done, because if I look at my numerator, I can't simplify anymore, right, because I don't have any like terms, and um, I can't divide anything else out, so my final answer is this.